Hey, what's going on? This is Marcos. Today, I want to show you how I work on client revisions for my video projects using Final Cut Pro 10. So let's jump straight into it. Here, you this is a uh, branded video featuring an athlete. And right now, I'm on version two. You see here, there's version one and version two. So what I always like to do after I turn in version one to the client, and what I'm doing usually is uh, I color grade, I add music, I sound effects, and graphics and all that good stuff. So if the client really likes it, they can sign off and say, hey, perfect, bring, uh, give it to us. Give us that video file. But that rarely happens. They usually come back with comments. So what I do is I, I do version one, I upload to Vimeo. As you see here, this is Vimeo. I upload it, it has these review tools. I'm paying for the pro version, which gives you access to that and you can share files on your or videos on your website, link to videos to your website, which is the what, what I end up doing. That's why I use Vimeo, but there's also Frame.io. Frame.io, I think it's much better uh, review tool. It integrates with Final Cut Pro 10. You can get this extension and you can, you know, drop the comments with the timestamps straight into the timeline. It's also cheaper. I think it's like $13 a month if you pay annually. Um, both are great though. So anyways, you go back, you, you know, with this, the, the client can add timestamps and say, Hey, please add a graphic here. Uh, like add a graphic or whatever it is. And you have exact timestamp and you see here, here's a comments. This is me adding comments, but then you take these comments, you come back to final cut pro 10 and you create a duplicate in this case. I have version two. Now let's say I'm working, I already got the comments back from the client. I, what I wanna do is select this duplicate project. I don't do, I don't do duplicate project as, I always do duplicate project. And so I wanna rename this to version three or V3. Let's do version three. Boom, there it is, double click making sure that it says here version three, that way you know you start working on version three, not version two accidentally. And now you can start making changes, whatever the client said, you had the graphics, you know, uh, whatever they want. And that way you have records of your previous versions, because if you don't, let's say the client says, uh, hey, can you bring back that clip uh, that I had you delete from version one or version two? You can quickly come back to version one you know, get that clip they're talking about, copy and paste back into version three. Now, if you had only worked on, you had stacked on the revisions on just one project, you can't do that. You know, you might've deleted it. You might have changed uh, some things around the graphics and now you can't quickly grab them and, and put them back into the timeline. So I highly suggest you do this. You wanna have a record of it. It happens a lot with these kind of projects. I mean, theoretically, you can go back to your Vimeo and, and look at the previous versions, but it's better and faster to do it this way. So here's version three. We make the changes, the same process. You upload to Vimeo or Frame.io. Hopefully they sign off by version three. Sometimes they don't. And so you go through this process of, let's say version three, they have some edits. Again, you select version three duplicate project and now oh look it it did it for me it actually is better if you do version it knows that version four is the next one so that's quite kind of neat so I'll, from here on i'll re rename my videos version four instead of v1 v2 so that's pretty neat to know all right hopefully uh this helps you out with your video projects if you have any questions please drop them down below as always, I appreciate you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.